Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. I hope everyone is enjoying their weekend. Yesterday, near Tonga, east of the Fiji Islands, there was a magnitude 6.1 earthquake. Just another indication that the continents are moving. Uh, many of them are subsiding. Yep, a lot of things going on this year. Up here is the location of that earthquake. We have the Tonga Trench here. And you can see all the historic earthquakes that occurred in this area. This is one of the fastest moving areas of the continent of subduction in the world. Originally, this earthquake was measured as a magnitude 6.2, but it was downgraded to a 6.1. Not far from a location in 2009, there was a 6.6. .6. 1990 is 6.5. Uh, you can see them all here. Yeah, a lot of sixes and even seven, a 7.4. This area is definitely a hot spot because of the subduction. Um, in 2008, they discovered uh, one of the deepest undersea volcanoes in the world. Here we have what's called Volcano O, and then the newest one that they discovered in 2008 is what they named the West Mata Volcano. They only discovered it after pumice floated up to the ocean and was reported by uh, different ships out there. A lot of undersea hydro plumes in this area. Um, bacterial mats. It's really an extraordinary area because of the uh, volcanism the magma that comes up because of the collision of, that's going along uh, the Tonga Trench with the Pacific Ocean subducting all the way over and beyond the Fiji Islands. After this 6.1, there was a magnitude 4.9 earthquake close to the same location. Let me pull this over for you. Here's the uh, 6.1, 6.2. It was a 6.2 before they downgraded it. And here's that 4.9 right close to that volcano. Yeah, I think it's probably associated with that because it was only 10 kilometers in depth. Um, they often put 10 kilometers when they don't really know how deep it was. But because of the location to this volcano, yeah, I'm sure it's associated with the magma that's coming up, the forming of this uh, new volcano. After that, there was a 4.5. This earthquake was very deep, and that was down here. I'll show you the location. It was 270 miles below sea level, or 607.9 kilometers. So let's go to that location of that earthquake. Way down here, right there, there's the 4.5. I'm going to bring it out. And show you this too is a case of subduction. There we go. 4.5. Here we have the Tonga Ridge on the east. And then we got the Harold Ridge over here on the left. This yellow area that I drew out for you is an area. It's a detached segment of the Australian plate that is slowly moving northeast. I would not be surprised if Fiji has another large earthquake with all the uh, activity that's currently going on with the continents moving and the subduction of these different slabs. This here is an image um, by EarthJ.com. If you want to learn about um, tectonics and subduction of plates and earthquakes, I suggest you go to EarthJ.com. Here we have an image of the Tonga Trench, the subduction of the Pacific Plate going underneath. And I have told you how the Pacific Ocean is slowly shrinking, closing up. After my report that I did for the earthquake, um, what, a couple days ago. Yeah, there was an earthquake um, by the Solomon Islands. I told you I expected that to happen. That was that 7.0 that they had by uh, Papua New Guinea. Afterwards, there was a 4.5 near the Fiji Islands. Another 4.8 by uh, Papua New Guinea. 
Solomon Islands had a 5.8. And um, Hermetic Islands had a 5.0. That was down there. Let's see what else we got here. A 4.6, a 6.1, which I am reporting on right now. And then we got a 4.9, which I just showed you. Um, 4.5, which I just showed you. Now, Vanatu had a 4.8. And then there was another one down here along the Tonga Trench, which was a 4.6. So this 4.5 earthquake was deep within the Earth's mantle. And here in these depths, we have the Pacific plate that is colliding with a detached Australian plate. You know, they used to think, scientists used to believe that earthquakes down in the mantle um, were not possible. But there sure have been a lot of them lately, haven't there? On Geoscope, they have um, moment tensor ball showing what was going on um, with this earthquake how the two slabs collided you can see here um, this is probably the Australian plate moving um, northeastward and then we got the Pacific plate yeah how it rose up here as they collided to me it looks like it hit a barrier and it locked up once again. So like I said, more than likely there's going to be another earthquake. I would not be surprised in the Fiji Islands uh, that they have a moderate to large earthquake next. So if you have any questions or thoughts or comments, please put it down below. I'm also on Twitter. I post a lot of things on Twitter um, that I don't post on YouTube because of the censoring. It's bad enough YouTube doesn't send out notifications to probably at least half, if not more, of uh, my subscribers. I'm also on Patreon and also on PayPal. Uh, please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless y'all. Bye.